Over the past year, I've been brewing and crafting video concepts, some of which are good, some are videos to say the least. But there has been one idea that has been lingering in the back of my mind since I started this YouTube channel. Am I one of the greatest gamers in history? Now, I know this is a very open-ended question, especially since I have some of the greatest names in the industry to compare to. But I truly think I stand a chance in the long run. Though the question still remains, how do I subjectively show that I am in fact the greatest gamer alive? Well, I chose what is believed to be one of the hardest titles that has come out in recent years. But I couldn't just stop there. No, that wouldn't be enough for the greatest gamer in history. So to add to the difficulty and overall challenge, I did some googling on foreign websites that you've probably never heard of, and downloaded some mods that probably put me on several government watch lists. And after hours of troubleshooting and removing several hundred installations of Bonzi Buddy from my computer, a masterpiece was born. When choosing a class for this run, I had to choose something that really spoke to the difficulty of what we're doing here. I could have gone with any of these goobers, like Wizard Man or this thing. But there's truly only one route, this being... Wow. So with the class chosen, and the character created, there was only one thing left to do. Lit fam, if this video hits 50,000 likes, I'll flex my asshole on video camera at 3 a.m. Never know what might happen there. Yeah, I could beat- I could beat rats, guys! Figured out the strat. I'm just gonna fucking punch rats to death. Homeless people on my right, guys. Uh, don't- don't quote that. I don't hate the homeless. Look at this face. And tell me this isn't the face of a true American hero. Forget Abraham Lincoln. Forget George Washington. Forget the greats. Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Now, since this is a randomizer and all the enemies are different, I thought maybe I would have an easy time. Maybe all of the starting enemies could be little goblins or the impotent wizards Elden Ring is famous for. So tell me why I got absolutely stomped to death by these big fucking lobsters that seem to spawn everywhere. It's a huge dog. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. Come here. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. I think it sees me. I'm gonna touch you. Come here. I'm, I'm going uh, to touch you. I have. But this prompts me to show the first boss fight I had to deal with. Indeed. Oh. Ah, I mean, this is kind of easier. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. Come here, I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. Now, I want to give a little insight to who I was fighting for over an hour on stream. This guy right here, this is Leon Misbegotten, an optional mini-boss found south in Castlemore. Many of you may recognize him as one of the first bosses you try and fight. Right after Margaret unleashed a Mortal Kombat-style finisher on your grandmother and proceeded to throw your dog right off the cliff. But Leon isn't like that at all. To emphasize more on this idea, let me define what a mini-boss is for you. Quote, a mini-boss, also known as a middle boss, a mid-boss, or a half-boss, or a sub-boss, is a boss weaker or less significant than the main boss found in the same general area. End quote. So tell me why it took me this many attempts to beat him. Could it be that I'm bad at the game? Or could someone have gone and altered my game's inner coding to make sure that Leon was 46 times more difficult than he normally would be for most people? Could this mean that From Software was testing me, trying to gauge that I'm not only the greatest gamer alive, one of the greatest gamers that will ever exist. Oh look, I finally beat him. Dude, oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. After the stressful encounter that the first boss turned out to be, I decided to press outwards to explore my surroundings. I found some sick ass Monster. drip. No thanks, I don't really like big monsters that much. Oh no fucking way, dude. Dude, now we're fucking falling, dude. You can't tell me we're not fucking balling. A few weird bad guys. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh shit. Oh, I think it just killed itself. Oh. 
Ah, someone's grandma is on the loose, dude. Ah, slugma. Slugma in my balls. But eventually, Twitch chat got bored, so I pressed onward to the next boss fight. I felt ready to say the least. That was until I entered the What's next fog door. Doesn't matter. Sweet. Boss fight. Boss fight. Boss fight. This is this is the next um the next big one. Now, Souls games are famous for their difficulty. Between towering behemoths and fucking wizards that will absolutely rock your shit, the fear these individuals instill into players is immense. But Moog, well, Moog was different. What is going on? But riding the high from beating my first boss of this run, I thought I could do it. I thought I could beat him on my first attempt. Three, two, Hello. Go. I'm going to kill you and then kill you again. That's a way. That's a way. Ah, we almost out. But what? I fucking, I tried to dodge like seven times. Dude, I couldn't move. I was mashing B. The fucking it sucks. The four hit combo sucks. It sucks. Stop giving those, dude. Dude, why does this pull out? Why does this pull out game do damage? I'm gonna fucking shoot lightning out of my fingertips right into this fucking dome. Okay. Okay. My ball. My, my my bald. My 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 baldness right there interfered. My baldness interfered. Maybe if I wasn't fucking bald as shit, I would have I would have lost. Realizing I had no chance for now, I left the castle in pursuit of something else. Heading south again, I went to a place that sounded all too familiar at this point. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. Seeing as I fought and killed the main boss that normally spawns here, I thought to myself, there shouldn't be anything that difficult here. So after That's clearing out some goobers and running away from a horde that wanted to crush my fucking bones, I made it to the fog door. Oh, Who is it? Wow. What a big ask here, dude. That's it, yeah. You know what? On that note, I think that's great content for tomorrow. I think that's a good time to leave off for tonight, guys. Did not a whole lot today. Um, yeah, I got absolutely fucked here. It's not even that he's hard. It's the fact this arena wasn't meant for the jolly green giant and his ugly face. So every time I would get close to killing him, this fucking Neanderthal would roll around like a big fucking orangutan and he would crush me like a bug. But eventually, after learning his patterns and figuring out where he sleeps, I was able to pull this off. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Kill the giant. Greedy, greedy, greedy. <laughs> but this wouldn't be enough to take on Mo. No, I needed more skill, and the only way to do that was grinding. That was bad. Oh, okay. Sweet. That was fucking easy. Yippee! Fuck. 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 Wait. So I can't fucking do anything here. Fucking... Fuck you. Yeah, I didn't even care about that one. Fucking hate that dude. Hate this fucking flying dragon Adula. Yeah, come on, dude. On the rocks. Oh. Don't you fucking zone out and lose consciousness. Come on. Don't be a fucking. You fucking goofball, you. Fucking goofball. Okay. 
Okay, I, I think we approached this fight not in a fucking horse. Not in a fucking horse this time. Oh my god, look how fuck- I told you, that's fucking so easy. Easiest boss ever, dude. Dude, fucking suck. Fucking suck. Now, after grinding several hours of gameplay and defeating many great foes, I believed I was ready. So I went back to that fog door and prepared myself for the next three hours I would spend here. Ready? Come on. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I fucking... What the fuck? I... I... Oh, my God. These piss balls, dude. He's just whipping gamer piss at me. So close. Halfway this time. Halfway. 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 Oh, dude, why did I give him that? That would have been game right there. Fucking. <laughs> What am I doing? What am I doing? Did somebody like fucking possess me? Did somebody with the, the IQ of two possess me? They say through many great trials and tribulation you learn what it truly means to put effort in. But fighting Moog felt like I was slamming my skull into a brick wall over and over and over again. But it finally clicked. in the back of my mind since I started this YouTube channel. Am I one of the greatest gamers in history? Forget Abraham Lincoln. Forget George Washington. Forget the greats. Paul Blart Malcolm. Flex my asshole on video camera at 3 a.m. Homeless people on my right, guys. Uh, don't don't quote that. I don't hate the homeless. Korega, Requiem. Da. Omae ga mite iru mono wa. Oh my fucking god, dude! Holy fucking shit! Holy fucking shit. Now, this isn't over. There's still so much ground for me to cover. So many enemies left to vanquish from this foul plane of existence. So many hours left to grind through. But the question still remains. Do I have what it takes to prove myself as one of the greatest gamers in existence? Additionally, do you have what it takes to join me on stream every Sunday and Monday as I make this great journey? I guess we'll never know. だ。お前が見ているものは確かに真実だ。確かにお前の能力が実際に起こす動きを見て。しかし、実際に起こる真実に到達することは決してない。私の前に立つものは。Boss fight right here. Boss fight. Who's my boss? Royal Knight Godf